it's early morning here and we got this SID 4A22 Halte. Hear that? She's not happy. What I'm going to attempt to do is make this run better by um, opening it up and cleaning it out with contact cleaner. The cleaner I've done a few times on my channel. If you see here, there's a lot of white dust in the screw holes. That tells me this has been cleaned up drywall. This thing has been covered, surrounded by dust, and it's all gone inside and caused havoc with a switch in the motor. So I'm going to sort that. Have to get into it and see what's going on. I'm going to tear this down now. There's about 10 screws in the side of it. I'm going to use this little set that I bought at Amazon with about a month or six weeks ago. I'll put the link in the comments section if you want to have a look at it. But I find it incredibly useful. It's a T10 for this job. Yeah. We'll get this open now. What did us done here? Wow. See how white this is, this looks like it's been in the... It's been used in Scareface's lab or something. It's... yeah. So what I'm going to do is... Take it all out. Clean it with contact cleaner. And put it back together again. So that is the mission. For now. Yeah. Right, I'm going to clean these casings up with the generic Amazon knockoff Makita blower. And then I can give them a rinse in water now. They've been blown out so. It's taking away a lot of the dust, but there's still some residue there. So I'm going to take hot, soapy water and leave them for a while. And the interior parts. And it's time for the main clean. Uh, our old friend, the uh, Electrical contact cleaner is what I'm going to use. I just want to clean out the switch and then around the motor. It helps to work the switch sometimes when you are cleaning them like that.
clean all those connections. That will do no harm. See, look how cloudy that. That should be clear. You can see all the white dust that's been on it. Right, that's that. So what I have to do is let this dry out. I'm going to maybe give it a day, and then I'm going to put it back together. See if that solved the issue. Right, it's a day on now, and as you can see, these have come up pretty well. They're pretty clean, and this has come up pretty well too. It's pretty clean. So I'm going to put it together. See if it's going to go. I'm going to tuck those wires into those little grooves there. You can see that. Right, that's that back together, so I'm going to put a battery on it and try it. Yeah. That sounds a lot smoother. Yeah. One more test and we'll know we're good. I'd be happy with that. So if your Hulti SAD 4A22 is power problems, that's what you do. Take it apart, clean it with contact cleaner. This has worked for me so many times in so many different different tools. If you like this video or find it helpful, please subscribe for more. And consider checking out my other videos.